As we see the ebb and flow of the changing tide and the rhythmic waves of the surging sea, we realize these phenomena have an unpredictably beautiful power to transform. Inspired by idyllic coastal environments, Cambria has crafted four new designs that derive beauty from nature and power from performance. Rich, off-white backdrops are elegantly enhanced with seascape-inspired contours and colorways. Discover the enhanced artistry of nature in these groundbreaking additions to the Cambria palette. Well, hello and welcome. We are here today to launch four new breathtaking Cambria designs. Now, I also love to curate mood boards. So we're gonna showcase how these four new Cambria designs can really coordinate with our existing palette. We've hand selected some of our favorites. I've also brought in some other design elements to showcase how they coordinate and what we're specifying today. So let's go take a look at the first one, Southport. She's a showstopper. It's avant-garde style will absolutely captivate all. Now it's set in a cool white scenery with giant waves of warm gray veins and outlines of a darker taupe. It's almost chocolate brown. This is another illustration of Cambria's commitment to innovation. Let's take a look at the mood board that I've curated here for Southport. Now, as I said, Southport is an absolute showstopper. And so I wanted to curate kind of a backdrop that's a little bit more calm and subtle with a little bit of a pop. I've brought in some of my favorite complimentary Cambria designs, White Cliff, which you can never go wrong with that pristine, cool white that would just offset this design. Now, Torquay is definitely one not to be denied because you have both the warm and cool, much like Southport. Highgate is one that we don't talk enough about. It may be an older design, but it has beautiful swirls of both a warm gray and cool whites. And then of course, here we have the solid grays of Cambria. We have several, but I chose Pikes Peak and Dunmore. They're cooler, and I think there's other areas to add some warmth to this kitchen. And where I brought that in, here if you can see, there's this antique mirror, which would be beautiful in the backdrop. And I also brought in this warmer, darker tile, which is a porcelain, so very durable for a backsplash. This is a nice gray palette. It goes from a cool white getting down to a warmer gray at the bottom. So again, you get to mix and match some of the cool and the warmth. I love these cabinets. This well-worn cabinet here is actually a maple with a new ash stain. And it really does pop that darker chocolate and taupe you see in Southport. And I love mixing metals. Thanks to Cafe, our friends who are mixing metals in their appliances, which I've included here. But I love mixing this oil rub bronze with the brushed gold. So not only in the hardware, but also in the plumbing. Our friends next door at Kohler offer both the oil rub bronze and the brushed gold, amongst many other metals to choose from that of course would pair really well with this design. And of course, the cast iron sink in white just is so beautifully integrated into this design. And then this is the new matte white appliance by Cafe to die for, love them. Overall, Southport is such a beautifully versatile design. You could do so much with it, and I can't wait to see what everybody and all the designers use Southport for. And next, I'd love to introduce you to Beckington. Now, the veins in Beckington are both cool, dark charcoal gray, juxtaposed next to a warm tan, creating that warm, cool combination. It's a sister design to our iconic Cambria Ella with a very similar soft and subtle foggy gray background that can complement pretty much anything. Beckington is versatile, calm, and easy on the eyes. Now, Beckington being that softer, subtle, almost a foggy design, it's cool, but I wanted to bring out some of those warm tones. I was really envisioning and dreaming of a beautiful luxury spa when I put this board together. I wanted to mention that Ella, which is an iconic Cambria design, really has the same background as Beckington, so they can be coordinated together in so many different ways. They just have a different veining pattern and structure, but all the tones are the same. Now, I brought in 
Hermitage. Hermitage was launched in 2021, and it is this beautiful, delicate, sophisticated design. And it really brings out the tan and the gold that you see here in Beckington. Also, I didn't want to leave out Highgate because Highgate is a design that complements Beckington so well. And I would use that in so many different applications throughout the home. But let's go back to our spa bathroom that I'm dreaming about here. I wanted to give it that sheen, that shine, that glamour. So I brought in this copper backsplash and you could even use it on the shower flooring with this beautiful full slab Beckington in your shower and tub surround. Serene. And then also to complement the copper, I brought in this brushed gold hardware. But to kind of tie the two in, Kohler has this really amazing, it's called a brazen bronze. So it almost ties in with my copper and the brush. I like to mix metals, but yet we didn't go too crazy on this whole mood board. I also brought in some other natural stones that could be used as a backsplash. What you're seeing here is a Carrera that has the beautiful gold inlays. Now this could also be used on the floor and it's a nice way to mix up different materials in your environment, which gives so much dimension. Now over here in the cabinetry area, we're really looking at the vanity, maybe some furniture if you want a beautiful place to apply your makeup. I brought in this kind of tone on tone, it's almost a grayish cabinetry. Um, these are all in the well-worn cabinet, which is American made. Also, if you wanted to go high contrast or use two different cabinet paints, I love the navy blue. It's classic, it lasts forever, it's timeless, much like Beckington is a timeless design. But when you bring the navy, this charcoal vein almost starts to go towards the blue. And that's why I brought in these beautiful darker blue hues in Benjamin Moore paints that can kind of create that serene feeling. When we think of blue, we think of water and we think of relaxation. Now also another high contrast cabinetry, I did pull this charcoal because it does also tie into the charcoal veins. But again, as you can see, this design is so versatile. This is just one palette that I pulled together. There are so many more opportunities to design with Beckington. Up next, the soft design, Ainsley. She's soft, elegant, and oh so sophisticated. Set in a soft, warm white background, overlaid with a delicate laced veil of gray. Now as you traverse this slab, you'll experience moments of gradation. To top the design off, we've sprinkled just a dusting of shimmer, but it's oh so subtle. Just enough to complete this polished Cambria design. This is our Ainsley mood board. Now this was really fun to put together because Ainsley pretty much goes with anything, but I wanted to create something unique. Let's start with the backsplash. Because Ainsley is such an organic, almost rounded swirls of veins, I wanted to kind of contrast that with this geometric backsplash. It's in a platinum tone and there's a little bit of glass, so it's a little glossy, which I like that. I've also brought in this natural backsplash. So looking at bringing in black, just to pop a little bit in the hardware, maybe even in the plumbing. I love this backsplash. Not only does this Carrera Gray pair so well with Ainsley, these borders of black are so eye-catching. Now, I don't mind using natural on the backsplash because you don't have to worry about the performance. Cambria is for the countertops for sure. Now let's look at Cambria complementary designs. Of course, we're thinking about using these in all places of the home. What else complements Ainsley? Of course, solid grays. We have Pikes Peak from the Coordinates Collection. And then we also have Dunmore, which is a beautiful gray. Also, a newer design of Cambria is called Claire. Now Claire, as you can see, pairs so well with that gray and the white. The patterning on the full slab of Claire has a much more dramatic veining, which creates kind of that contrast of something soft and subtle, yet something that pops and is powerful. And I really love that combination. Speak of popping and powerful, Britannica. 
The tones are beautifully pairing with Ainsley, but also if you were to do this in an island of Britannica with the swooping veins and Ainsley calmly living in the backdrop, which I love that contrast. And then of course there's the white. This is Whitehall, which looks beautiful with Ainsley. Just another opportunity if you wanna keep the overall Cambria calm in the kitchen. Whitehall is always a good compliment to Ainsley or many other Cambria designs. Now let's talk about the hardware, the plumbing, and also you know our friends at Kohler. They have so many different whites for their cast iron sink. This one here is called Sea Salt. Also in your plumbing fixtures and in your appliances, I went more towards that traditional stainless steel, but I wanted this beautiful glossy chrome for the handles, for the hardware. And also I thought you could mix in the black, which is a matte juxtaposed next to a high gloss. Now let's talk cabinetry. Because Ainsley has these saturations of light and soft gray, I selected some different colors here for these. These are well-worn cabinets, which are American-made, good partners of ours. Um, as you can see, a softer, subtle gray to a mid-tone, but pretty much any gray is gonna match this Ainsley design. Also, to have a little bit of fun, I brought in this cloud-like mid-tone blue. There are so many different blues and greens you can get in cabinetry today, and they're so easy on the eyes. Now, to kind of maintain a little bit of that blue theme, I selected here in the Benjamin Moore colorways, starting with a soft cloud-like blue all the way down to black, which I could see some type of statement wall that tied into some of these other black hardware or backsplash that I chose for this kitchen. Ainsley is an absolute exquisite design, and I can't wait to see how you use it. Now, let's go take a look at our last design, Clifton. It's so simple, and it almost has a coastal look, but it goes beyond a coastal town. Clifton is set in a cool white canvas with swirling shades of green, from sage, which is more traditional, almost to a soft mint. It's so neutral, as green is one of the most neutral colors in the palette. Now we've added in floating crystals to create some depth and dimension, which overall creates a simple yet beautiful design that can be used in so many different environments. Now here we have our Clifton mood board. And as you can see, I've put together a couple different moods, if you will. Clifton has so much versatility, I just couldn't help myself. So let's start over here where I really celebrate and honor the hues of green. Clifton itself has kind of a softer sage tone, but I wanted to show, as I have the colorways here from Benjamin Moore, many different shades of soft green and sage, and they all pair perfectly. So let's start in, in the green look. Um, I have a couple different well-born painted cabinets, and I wanted to, of course, celebrate white because white cabinets aren't going away, and Clifton looks amazing with white cabinets, but it also looks great with the modern, or even traditional style, whatever your style is, green shades, which we are now seeing everywhere in kitchens. I have your traditional sage, which is really neutral, um, but I also brought in a more minty look, which as you can see, still continues to pair perfectly with Clifton. And this is a darker, a little bit more towards a gray, which we do have some undertones of gray here in Clifton. Um, I love this backsplash. It has several shades of green, some darker towards the emerald green. What a great way to showcase and really embrace the love of green. Yes, Clifton does have beautiful crystals floating throughout that have kind of a platinum silver sparkle to them. So I wanted to bring in this glossy chrome. The poles are absolutely beautiful. And then Kohler does have that shiny glossy chrome in their plumbing. And then of course the Kohler cast iron sink in the white, which will seamlessly integrate into Clifton. Now let's go look at my high contrast look. I love bringing in black. Just in the borders, not filling in, you know, an all black kitchen is not for everyone. So we're taking Clifton again as our canvas in the countertop, but I brought in a black well-born painted cabinetry in a matte finish. And to complement that, I brought in the black matte hardware 
and a really cool geometric looking backsplash. This backsplash could be used right behind the range and then the rest of it could seamlessly be a complementary Cambria design. So I brought forward a couple options that I think would be beautiful in this kitchen. I wanna point out Sandgate. Now, if you can see here, Sandgate is a sister design to Clifton. You can see they both have the floating crystals, they have the beautiful marbling. What's different is the tonality and colorways of Sandgate are cool white, warm gray. However, these two can live in an environment together beautifully because they have the same composition. I also thought maybe you want to bring in something that's a little more monochromatic. Weyborn has a subtle movement, but not too much. Soft. And then of course our white cliff, which is that pristine milky white. And as you can see, it pairs perfectly with the white that's in the Clifton. And of course, we want to look at appliances in this colorway system. I really thought it'd be fun to juxtapose against the black cabinets a white appliance. Cafe has this beautiful matte white appliance and then the Kohler plumbing, which you could do in the matte black or even bring in a little bit of stainless steel, which again, ties into the crystals floating throughout. As you can see, Clifton is a very versatile design. I wanna thank you for joining us today. We are thrilled to launch these four new designs and we can't wait to see what you do with them. And be sure to follow along Cambria Surfaces on all the social media channels because we have more launches planned for the second half of this year.